Hello, everyone. We are the Vulcan team, and uh, the team members are, Han are Antoine, Hannah, Maria Fernanda, and myself. Today, we will be discussing the EC552 project, where we attempted to conduct Moz software improvements. So we want to go into what is Moz. Uh, Moz is an aptamer discovery computational tool. It stands for making aptamers without Celex. And Celex is an in vitro aptamer selection process that has its downfalls. Um, it is not ideal because it is very time consuming and it doesn't test all possible nucleotide sequences. So Moz was a, a computational process that attempted to quickly generate optimal aptamers by minimizing the entropy of the complex in order to ensure high specificity. Now we will get into some of the shortcomings of Moz. So Moz as a program is not functional and the team that created it has since disbanded. Uh, we wanted to bring about improvements that would attempt to revive Moz. Um, some of the issues that Moz has currently are, um, they have one instance of the Amber calls that makes it so that only their system can run it. Um, this makes it non-functional for other members uh, to just download and use the tool. Uh, we also wanted to create a more general approach to uh, make Amber calls for Moz. So this would hopefully um, allow it to be runnable on um, anyone who wants to download the, the software. And so the way we uh, did this was to um, use an instantiation of Amber, which is known as the PyTrage module, that would pull all the same information that we want to use. So here we have an approach to a solution, and we will showcase, showcase some elements of the code that we utilized. Here we have uh, some of our libraries. The main one that we want to focus on is the PyTrage module, as, as stated previously, which is an alternative Amber calling method that we plan to use in place of Moz's Amber calls. We have also pulled some of these functions from Moz shown here that are used later on in the code. These functions show that the formatting of the information we pull later on is correct and would have been implantable into Moz if other pieces of it were functional. So here we begin with an iter load function from the PyTrage module that will load in the PDB file of the user's choice. This load function will import the protein in a trajectory format, and trajectory just means that it's the 3D physical information of the protein structure. We then go into the portion where we can extract and display molecular information about the protein. We can loop through elements of the molecule uh, in terms of atoms or residues and extract information such as their coordinates uh, in physical space, the atom names, or residue information. This information is a lot of what Moz uses to inform their aptamer discovery calculations. Here we have the beginnings of the algorithm that we could develop, um, where we generate a bounding box around the protein and sample random locations within the box. From there, we would have conducted entropy calculations, sampling different nucleotides to construct the aptamer. And then from there, we would have been able to append and iterate until the full length aptamer is resolved. One piece of information that we would have needed to successfully perform an aptamer construction algorithm is this part here where we call this eSander function. This is a PyTrage function that would have conducted an energy decomposition of the protein. However, the library used to run the function has since been disabled. This would be the place where we conduct entropy calculations and find the minimum en entropy after sampling random locations and random nucleotides. Our plan would then be to append and continue this minimum entropy walk until we end with an aptamer. And then at the end, we would wanna save a new PDB file with our complete aptamer. Here we are setting up the program that we just described previously. So now we're gonna input Python 3 test.py to run the program. And once the program runs, it'll ask the user which PDB file they would like to load. Right now, the PDB files that can be loaded in all have to be within the EC552 folder. After the, the user enters the file name, the program extracts all of this information from the PDB file. If we scroll to the top, we can see that, it's fir that it first outputs the trajectory and the topology of the PDB file. After that, we show more molecular information. Here we show the first five residues, and here are the first five atoms that also details the general information about the atom. From there, we go on to showing the atom's coordinates. And again, we only showed the first five atoms for simplicity. The PDB file extracts all information from the entire molecule. The remainder of the output shows the generation of the bounding box, which is the beginning of our algorithm. 
From there, we see that the program says the next steps would have been testing nucleotides at each location and calculating entropy. However, this is where we ran into troubles and couldn't get that section of the code to run. One portion of the project that we felt would be crucial if we were able to create the aptamers would be to validate results. Since we do not have access to laboratory techniques to understand binding affinity, we decided to utilize the PyMole software as a tool to visualize the structure of the aptamer protein complex we would have created. This would have been to generally assess if aptamers were constructed somewhat correctly as we could compare size, shape, and orientation to the target mo molecule to assess success in the aptamer creation. Here we loaded in an aptamer protein complex and can visualize it. With working code where we create an aptamer, we would have been able to load the final product in here to, to assess success and validate our results. And that is all we have for our demo video. Uh, thank you for your attention. And we'd like to thank the following groups. Uh, we'd like to thank the Moz group for their um, Moz program that we decided to try to fix. Uh, we'd thank, like to thank the BU College of Engineering, EC552 and its professor, uh, Professor Densmore. And we'd like to thank Jackson for the guidance in the project. Thank you.